Tyson Fury is back. In this video, I'm going to be talking about this comeback fight and giving you my prediction. But I want to hear from you, so jump down to the comments section and tell me what you think about the opponent and how you see the fight going. Remember to hit that subscribe for more big fight predictions. So this fight is taking place on the 9th of June at the Manchester Arena. It's the highly anticipated comeback of the great Tyson Fury. Now, Tyson Fury last fought on the 28th of November, 2015. So we're talking over two and a half uh, years, you know. And um, it was when he defeated the great Vladimir Klitschko to become the lineal champion of the world. You know, some think that Many people didn't think it was possible. It was against the odds. Very few people were predicting a Tyson Fury uh, victory. I did, but I also made the prediction that Tyson Fury would become the heavyweight champion of the world way back in 2009. So I was elated uh, that he uh, picked up those straps. Since that amazing night, uh, nearly three years ago, he's been stripped of his titles. You know, he made some controversial statements that got him into a bit of trouble. You know, he was, uh, you know, he missed out on the opportunity to win Sports Personality of the Year, which he should have done that year. He should have won it by a landslide. But because of his own stupidity and big mouth, got himself in trouble. That went by the wayside, he's ballooned in weight, you know, eight stone, you know, which he's now lost, you know, and he's, so the amount of weight that he's lost is all, all, all close to a third of what he was at his heaviest, you know, he's been involved in two different uh, drugs uh, controversies, you know, whether it was recreational and this, uh, you know, uh, PEDs, you know, where he had the two year suspension, which, you know, that is a conversation in itself. You know, we'll never know uh, the truth about that. You know, he's also dealt with and spoke out about depression. But the Mac is back. As you say, this weekend at Manchester Arena, finally uh, he's back. And he has made the uh, bold prediction that he is going to get his belts back. And he's going to become heavyweight champion of the world, which would imply that he's on a collision course with Anthony Joshua. But who has he got in front of him right now? He has got an opponent that most people will never have heard of. Okay, Safer Safari. Now, there's a few things that immediately, you know, <laughs> uh, are stacking the odds against him. Firstly, 39 years of old of age, not exactly a spring chicken. Next, he's only 5'11", and we know that Tyson is a giant, you know, so there's that massive discrepancy in size. He has a record of 23-1 and one with 21 KOs, which, you know, on the face of it, not too bad. Even Tyson alludes to the fact that he has stopped 21 men before, uh, so he could stop Tyson. Um, but when you delve down into this record, you can see that most um, most of those fights, except one, were fought at cruiserweight. So he was fighting against opponents less than 200 pounds. Three of his opponents had never won before. They'd never won before, you know. They can they and they weren't even making their debut. So they had multiple defeats, and you know this was another defeat, you know. He's never fought anyone that was undefeated before, and most of his opponents were on losing runs. And you know, he's as I say, he's got this 24 fight record. That's over the course of 11 years, you know. So he's been a pro for a long time, but he turned pro. In, some would say uh, 28 years old, you know, fa fairly old, you know. He's also never fought in the UK. Now, he's only had one notable fight in his entire career, you know, and that was in recent years against Manuel Char, where he stepped up 
uh, at heavyweight. Now we believe that this was a you know a somewhat short notice, um, but there was a massive size discrepancy between the two. Manuel Char being a not the biggest of heavyweights, but a naturally sized heavyweight. You know there was a massive size discrepancy between the two, but effectively Char was able to walk him down over uh, ten rounds, um, and he probably would have stopped him if it had been. 12 rounds rather than 10. So when we see um, Safari in against Tyson Fury, we know that there's going to be huge size, huge strength, and most importantly, huge skill discrepancy between these two operators. Um, but you know, I believe that Safari will be will be will get the game. I mean, he'll come to fight. Um, I think he's probably going to be be embarrassed by Tyson Fury. Uh, I, I think he's going to struggle to do anything. But you know, this obviously all boils down to what sort of Tyson Fury is available. You know, I, I kind of compare this sort of opponent to. David Hayes' comeback fight a couple of years ago when he fought Mark Demore. They're of a similar level and ability, in my opinion. Um, as I say, you know, uh, I was actually expecting a much higher level of opponent uh, for the first fight. Um, my actual prediction about six months ago, when there was kind of the, the rumors started to increase about whether Tyson Fury would come back was that I thought that he would actually fight against Manuel Char, who does have a version of the WBA belt. And I thought that would be a good first fight. I mean, it's not someone who is known to be a top-level opponent, someone who's lost you know, four times before against you know, like average-level guys. So I thought that was a good level for him to come back. And it would have also, most importantly, would have given him one of the straps back. Now, I would have also been happy with him uh, going for a third time against Derek Chisora, someone who you know you'd expect Tyson Fury to deal with handily. Even some, even a Tyson Fury at seventy percent, you would expect him to deal with Derek Chisora uh, fairly easily. But I think it would have been an interesting fight, a fight that the fans would have enjoyed, you know, and I think that Chisora would have been well up for it. So I think that there, there was scope for a much, much higher level of. Uh, opponent than what they've actually gone for. Uh, it, it is for me very, very disappointment and disappointing. Sorry, and it does make me wonder about the legitimacy of this actual comeback. Whether it's for real, whether he is anticipating or believing that he's can, he's going to be leading up towards you know the big super fights, or whether this is just to make a few extra pounds. Uh, over the next year against low level guys in the same way that David Hay did you know fighting very very poor quality opposition making uh, some money and then you know talking up you know a, a, a big a biggish fight that didn't really mean anything but uh, got a huge amount of money in the uh, matchup against Tony Bellew and it's interesting that I it wouldn't surprise me if this is the route that we see happen with Tyson Fury. I think that on Saturday night, we will see Tony Bellew in attendance and they will talk up uh, a fight. And it's a fight that those two guys, because they're such amazing talkers, they will be able to talk this in, talk this up into a pay-per-view fight where they both make uh, a fair amount of uh, money and whether one retires after or both it's definitely possible, you know. I I hope it's not the case. I hope that Tyson Fury is back and he has a stab at uh, becoming the lineal champion once again. Picking up those actual straps, that would be fantastic. I'd love to see that happen. I'd love to see him dance around and, you know, have a great dust-up with Anthony Joshua. I would just, I think it would be brilliant. It'd be great for the sport uh, for that to happen. But ultimately, it all depends on the Tyson Fury uh, that's back, you know, as we spoke about just at the beginning of this, he's been through a lot, he's put on a horrific amount of weight and then lost it, you know, almost a third of his size he had to lose uh, in order to get down to his fighting weight, he's dealt with all kinds of things out of the ring, um, so you don't know whether he, he's possible. it's possible for him to get back to the uh, Tyson Fury, uh, the beat Vladimir Klitschko. 
we have to just wait and see. You know, as I say, this will be a very, very easy fight you'd expect, but we, it will, we'll see signs. We'll see whether he is back, whether he is capable of maybe lasting rounds, um, all these sorts of things. It, it will be very, very interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Is the Mac back? Is he going to go away? Can he become the champion? Can he lift those belts? Is he a real competition for Anthony Joshua? Let me know, and I'll see you in the next boxing prediction.